How's it going, Airsofters? Now, the other day, I found myself needing to take apart one of my ASG Scorpion Evo magazines, and having never done it before, I went in blindly, and what a mistake that was. I had pieces of plastic and springs flying all over the place. So after about an hour of uh, looking for all the pieces and uh, sort of sussing out where they all go back together again, I thought I'd do this video to uh, show you now in detail how these magazines come apart and go back together without having the same problem I did. Okay, so first things you're gonna to need to do is to remove this base plate. Now you just need something pokey to, to push in there like so, and then push the base plate off. It does only go one way off. They are quite stiff. There you go, got it. Now in there you can see there's a little pin. Just need to get your pokey object again. Push that pin out. Keep that safe. Right, and the mistake I made was now I just pushed from the bottom there, pushed it upwards, and these two little retaining clips just pinged out to the side. The um, spring pinged out and everything else pinged out. Right, so now what you need to do is just ease it up ever so slightly while you're holding the two little retaining clips in. So just keep hold of those retaining clips there because there are two little springs there. Now gently remove one at a time. There you go. Mother I just dropped that on the floor. And then you can pull the little plastic retaining clip out. And then the other side. So there's another little spring. So if you can get a better picture of that, there we go. And keep them safe, don't chuck them on the floor like I just did. There's the other retaining clip. Now turn it over so you can see the back of the, uh, the mag. Now push it up ever so slightly. Now here you've got like the spring guide. This bit holds the spring into place. If you just push down on it, be very careful here. Push down on it and pull it out nice and easily. There you go, you can see now the spring come out. Zoom out a little bit on this. Wait. Okay, now what you can do is push the rest of it out. But this outer case here is the only thing holding these two parts here together. So you need to make sure that you're keeping a good grip on these two parts here, because this is two pieces. Right, so this is the outer shell. Put that to one side. There's no tension here at all, but there are some little plastic pieces in here. I'll just zoom back in again. Up. Right, let's just lift that off. Now in here you can see two parts to the spring guide. Okay, there's one part there. And another part there. Zoom in so you can see those in there. see like the, the cut off this is how these two little parts here fit in these are the cut off so when you're out of BBs the Evo will stop firing you can see there the two little holes that they sit in okay so there is the Evo mag fully disassembled now believe me and I've been there and done that if you don't really know what you're doing with this thing, it can end in tears. So hopefully this video is gonna help some of you do a little bit of maintenance or any repairs on your mag if need be. Okay, well, let's show you how to put it back together again. Right, let's give it a little bit of zoom in. First up, take this little huge of flippy here. And these can only go in one way because as you can see, 
this side is slightly bigger than that side so the bigger side sits in this bit here and the smaller side sits in this bit here Does that makes sense and it's the same with that bit as well it is slightly smaller on that side to what it is on that side so this little bit here fits in like so nope that comes down there a bit and that goes there and that bit slightly overlaps there zoom back out a bit okay now if you spring guide let's put this bit back in now you can see the two little runners sections there now this runner or well, you need to make sure first actually that this little bit protruding here faces inwards in the magazine so it slides over the top like so and that's what pushes up the, uh, the cut off and then the little BB pusher thingy must have a technical name I don't think it matters too much which way this goes in because it seems fairly symmetrical that fits in on top and again it fits on the little runners there so yes yeah, job done for that bit Zoom out a little bit more. Okay, then the top can go back on. Just need to be careful when you're putting that top back on, make sure you're getting it on properly. There we go. Now you hear the, um, the spring guide flapping about in there, but that's okay, as long as you've got those two sections nipped up that spring guard can't come off and done go anywhere else etc so keep it nipped and get the outer case and push it in up to where you're going to put the spring in like so you can let go now okay so here comes one of the tricky bits and that is pushing the spring in right so you start feeding it in doesn't matter which way around the spring goes, it's the same both ends. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You've just got a little bit more to go. We're there. Now get your spring guide and you can see it's got like a little notch on there where the spring sits in. See that, it fits right in there. You push it in, and kind of goes down and up, and then it locks into place there. Now you can now cover the spring guide up so that's not gonna pop out. There you go, spring is in. Right now for these like little BB retention clips. It's gonna be tricky to film it and do it actually so you can see it. All right, so let's push in. These little retention clips there. There you go. So they're in. You can see those okay. Now what we need to do is put the springs in. Now these little springy things there, they kind of go in upside down. So the little loopy bit goes at the bottom and the longer bit goes at the back. That's one side in. Now you're going to keep have to keep hold of that while you do the other side. This is why it's a little bit tricky. Okay, let's get some light on the situation. There you go. Now that's both sides in. Now keep hold of that while you push down. There we go. And we're in. Sorted. Now we need to put the retaining pin back in. You just need to make sure that you just about see that. 
sometimes the pin doesn't go in very easily. So you might have to just push ever so slightly on the bottom, very, very gently though, not too much, there we go. Got the perfect line. Just use my pokey little pokey thing. Just to push that in a bit better. There we go, perfect. And the final touch is base plate. And all you need to do is push down there, push the base plate on, and it clips in there. So there you go, job done. It's one of those jobs that is fairly simple when you know how. And if you don't know how, it can be a pain in the ass like it was for me. But uh, yeah, now I've done it, simple really. And I uh, hope this video has helped you if you want to do a bit of maintenance or repairs on your ASG Scorpion Evo Max. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video then please hit that like button and if you want to see more videos from me then please subscribe to my channel.